one fellow traveler that's with his space here, inspired by yoga, guiding him through a nice little practice. It's come to sit up, pull back our shoulders, lengthen through the spine. Just begin by engaging the jai breath, that breath really constrict the throat slightly. Its vibration. Closing the eyes. And our breath to deepen, to lengthen. And maybe considering an intention you might like to bring into your practice, into your week, the rest of the year. Toes together, sit all the way back to the heels. Stretch arms out in front and drop the forehead to the left. Holding there for a few breaths, your extended child pose. Relaxing the shoulders, melting the heart to the earth. A place you can always rest in if you need to take a break, just come and hang here. From here, spread your fingers wide, tuck your toes under and downward facing up, press the hips up towards the ceiling, up towards the sky. Maybe a little pedaling of the feet for your first down the pose. Pressing out through the hips, through the shoulders. Now let's continue the flow here with your next inhale, right leg high to the sky. And with your exhale, step the right leg forwards, drop the left knee down for a low lunge, arms up, inhale. And with your exhale, proceed deep into that lunge. Inhale, reach up, lengthen, spread through as wide, hands back down, and step back to the downward dog. Inhale to high plank. From the high plank, drop the knees down, elbows in, chest and chin down first. And then scoop the hips through, shoulders back, and jump out so cobbled. Back down, press back to your downward fist. Side, left leg high. Stepping our left leg through. Drop the right knee down, arms through it up. Inhale, low lunge. And exhale, sink deeper into your lunge. Reach up, lengthen, inhale. Hands down, downward dog, exhale. Again, high plank with an inhale. <clears throat> onto the knees and slowly down, exhale. And scoop the hips through, hips to the earth, shoulders back, 
Pull the glutes in, and jump into the cobra. Down and press back. Feel down and face it. Right knee hard. Inhale, sipping it through with your exhale, left knee to the earth, and your arms through it up. Inhale. And your exhale. Sit deeper into your lunge. Let's reach up with the inhale and a little twist to the right. Arms out, shoulder height. Inhale again, the arms up to the sky. And once more to the right. And then from there, bring the right hand either to the right hip or to your left thigh. Back of the left thigh, reach up and back of the left hand. So you can twist. Then hands back down, slipping back to your downward dog. Double the high back. Again on the knees or chaturanga if you like, coming down. Oops, two shoulders back, inhale, hold. Back down, press back, downward dog. Exhale. Other side, left leg to the sky. Keep your inhale. And slipping back to your foot. Sound right knee to the earth, arms through and up in the hand. And exhale. Do a twist in the hand, reach up, and with an exhale. Inhale, arms up to the sky. And again, open one. And this time, left hand either to the left hip or to the right thigh, reach up and back to the right arm. Take a couple of breaths in your own time. Simply a bit slow, but on the right shoulder back. And then bring these hands back down. Step back to your downward dog. Take the high plank in the hand. On your knees, or a chaturanga if you like. Exhale, cobra, or the other one. Up, good three, sing up. And then to your downward dog. We'll see our hips high, the keys Now down the dog, let's walk up to the top of the mat, to your hands, and fold the body towards, holding, holding onto the backs of the legs, folding forwards, and bring your ribcage there to the thighs. Now head to hand, possibly a little bend in the knees if that feels better. Keep the head low as we roll ourselves up nice and slowly, one vertebra at a time. Head coming up the last. Rolling out the shoulders up the top. And then stepping feet together. Circle up the arms with an inhale, interlace the hands, index fingers point to the sky. Inhale as you lift. Over to your right. Inhale, lengthen to the sky, and exhale, left side. Again, reach for the sky, inhale, exhale to the right. Inhale, and to your left, exhale. Now, center hands in prayer into your heart. That. Let's continue our flow. Circle up the arms with a deep in the hand. Exhale, forward fold. Halfway there, fingers either to the earth or to your shoes. And with your exhale, fold further over the legs. Fingers down, left foot back into a high lunge on the ball of the back foot. Drop the back knee down if you need. Inhale the arms up. And exhale, sink a little deeper. Reach up, inhale, lengthen, hands down, step back, down the dog. Plank, your inhale, on the knees, with your chaturanga, exhale. Cobra, walk with this, exhale, to the downward face. Right leg to the sky, inhale, stepping 
right leg through. Exhale, arms through and up in the head. And exhale, simply with your lunge. Reach up, inhale, lengthen, then hands to the top of the mat. Step forward, hold forward, exhale. Be halfway lifting hand. Exhale and fold. And circle up the arm as we're going in the head. Exhale, break to the arm. Reaching the other side, inhale, the arms up high. Exhale, forward, fold. Halfway in the head. And fold further, exhale, fingers down, right foot back. High lunge with the arms up in the head. And exhale. Inhale, reach up, lengthen, hands down, and the dog. Exhale. High plank in the head, on the knees, on your chaturanga, exhale. Upward dog or cobra in the head, and to the downward dog, exhale. Left leg high, stepping left leg through, arms through and up in the head. Steady exhale. Now reach up, lengthen. Hands to the top, step forward, fold forwards. Halfway lifting the head. Exhale and fold. Circle up the arms, we're the head. And with an exhale, bridge the arm. Enjoy the breath. Again, same sequence, but adding on a few more postures, throwing the mix in the hands, circle up the arms. Exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift with the inhale. And with your exhale, fold. Put the fingers down, left foot back. High lunge, arms up, inhale. Of our body. And with our exhale, sink deeper into your lunge. Up length. Now bringing in our twist here, the hands in prayer, body leans forward so it's in line with the back leg, and then we twist to the right. We hook the left elbow or rest it on the thigh, hook it over to the other side if we can, keep the forearms in line, and rotate the heart towards the hands, lift the belly up and over, keep the back leg firm. A little more of under helps the pelvic floor engagement. Breathing in your own time there, back leg firm, or if you need the back knee down for stiffer um, stability. And we'll the balance. And we'll release the hands down. Step back to your downward facing up. Down the dog to high plank in the hand. On your knees, with your chaturanga, exhale, cobra, or up the dog. And exhale. So raising the right leg high, stepping the right leg through, back to your high lunge, arms up in the head. And with an exhale. <sighs> Reach up in the head. Now bringing our warrior two, we drop the left heel down, arms out shoulder high. Watch that front knee sometimes floats in, keep it in line with the toes. Shoulders back, stay here for a few breaths in your own time. Slow, keep the knee in line with the toes above the ankle. Back to the firm. Out of reach of the back foot, pressing the foot. Right palm up, lean forward now. Sweeping up and back, peaceful warrior left hand. Snakes down the left leg. Keep well the side ankle pose, forearm to the thigh. Left arm sweeps over the left knee. Draw the left shoulder back here, looking through. Looking for the length through your left side. Bring the head to look up, stay there. We'll come into a bind, half bind, left hand to the right waist. Or full bind, right hand underneath, interlacing hands or holding onto the top wrist, draw the left shoulder back. And from the heart to the sky. Take these hands down either the side, off the right foot on the ball of the back foot. And step forward. 
Big inhale. Exhale and fold. So up the arms, belly in the head. And exhale through to the heart. The side, same rhythm. Arms up in the head. Exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift. Crack back in the head. And exhale, fold further over the lips. Right, it steps back. High lunge on this side, arms up in the head. And exhale. Reach up, lengthen, inhale, hands in prayer, lean forward a little so the body's in line with the back leg. Right twist to the left, right elbow to the outside of the left thumb. Heart towards the hands. Lifting the tongue up and over. Rotating the heart over towards the hands. Shoulders relax. Forearms in line. Sound step back. You go down with the face, sit up. On the downward dog to your high plank, keep the head. Shut your arm, break some. Up with the face, And down with the face, sit up. Left leg to the sky. Stepping our left leg through into your high lunge, arms up in your head. Steady exhale. Up, lengthen, inhale, open up, warrior two. With your exhale, again, just that alignment. Details, left knee in, shoulders roll back, hips seat low, keep the arms at shoulder height, body nice and upright. The left palm floats up, lean forward, sweep up and back, peaceful warrior. To the side angle forearm to your thigh, right arm over the ear, draw the right shoulder back, length through the right side of the body. Maybe turning your head to look up if that's okay for the neck. And either stay there, come into a half bind right hand to the left waist, or a full bind if it's available, left hand underneath interlacing your hands, or hold on to the, the top wrist, draw the right shoulder back, lifting the heart to the sky. Still in Jaina. Bending your hands down on the side of the left foot on the ball of the back foot. Stepping forward, top of the mat. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale and fold. And then from there, step the feet out hip width apart. Let's squat down from there, Malasana. Bring the arms between the legs, and I put them in there, hands in prep. Try to have the feet as parallel to each other as possible, but if they need to open up, that's fine too. Shoulders back, lift the heart, and shut down the eyes here. Come back to a steady Ujjayi breath, and bring the awareness into your third eye. The point between the eyebrows, resting. Okay. We're really linking the eyes back open. Let's bring the hands down to stabilize. We'll come over onto the knees from here. To Drop the knees down and we prop ourselves up to work with Ustrasana, the camel pose. So we start with the hands on the back of the hips there, roll the shoulders back, create length through the lower back, tailbone down towards the floor, uh, tummy in towards the spine, pressing the hips forward. So we lift up through the, uh, the sternum bone, bending in through the thoracic there, roll the shoulders back and arch in the back. So deep. Nice deep back bend there, just going as far as your body allows. If you feel you can go further, bring the hands all the way to the heels, but don't force it. If it doesn't feel right, just keep the hands to the back of the hips. Keep the shoulders back, pressing the hips forward. The head turns to look up or even behind, if that's okay. Hands 
arms down, bring them back to the back of the hips, untuck the toes if they're tucked, sit back to the heels, and we'll take a moment there in your pose with the child. Feel the, the length in the spine after, after the back bend. Flexion after compression. Nice counter pose. And then coming back up, sitting to the heels here on the knees. And sit over to your left side. We'll come into the classic spine twist here. So we bring the right foot to the other side of your left thigh. Both buttocks to the floor. If it's not comfortable, you can extend the bottom leg. So left leg either straight or tucked under, left arm up to the side in the hand. With an exhale, wrap it around the right leg. Inhale the right hand behind. Fingers to the floor or the back of the hand to your left hip. Or if it's available, a bind between the legs. Hands interlace between the right thigh leg, between the right leg. Roll the right shoulder back, lift the heart, and look over your right shoulder. Lean your spine here, breathe each inhale. Visualize energy rising up the spine. Each exhale, the energy plants back down. Next inhale, head back to center. Exhale, the arms follow the hands. Over to the other side of the counter twist, come down almost to kiss the ground, but not quite. And then pushing ourselves back up, unravel the legs, and then re ravel them the other way with the right leg either straight or tucked under the left leg over that right leg, try to have both buttocks to the floor. Inhale the right arm out to the side, exhale the right arm around your left leg, left arm behind you, hand either to the floor. Back of the hand to your hip. And again, if it's available, interlacing, binding the hands between the leg, lifting the heart, and twisting, looking over your left shoulder. And visualizing the breath moving up and down the spine. And see the hand and head back to center. Follow through with the arms, or counter twist to the other side, hands down, and the arms twist it out. Pressing ourselves back up, release the lips, and stretch them out, and come high on your sitting bones. Legs extended, toes to the sky, Paschimottanasana, and forward bend, arms up to the sky with an inhale. Now hinge forward from the hips, so keep the back as straight as you can. Just bring the hands down, and just reach the legs, that's fine, hold on there. If you reach the feet, ideally the outer side of the feet, roll the shoulders back. And lift again through the sternum. If you need a little bend in the knees, that's fine. Now further forwards, if the body allows, draw your ribcage towards the thigh. Length in the spine. Breathing up and down the spine. Leaving the spine in the channel of consciousness. Next inhale, arms through and up into the inhale, to the sky, exhale back down. And hands behind you, reverse plank now, fingertips in towards the body, roll the shoulders back. And then we're lifting up the head. We're going to lift the hips high, toes to or towards the floor. It's a challenge, tabletop, so no option there. Otherwise, keep it in reverse plank, keep lifting high, looking up or even looking high. Maybe you can lift a little high if you could roll the shoulders back, open the chest, open the heart. And then gracefully back down to the earth. Give ourselves a hug, arms around the knees, and float the feet off the ground. 
finding your way to balance there. And then from here into your boat pose, hands under the knees, roll the shoulders back, lift the heart, engage the core, lower legs, parallel to the floor. Keep lifting the heart, keep the core engaged. We can release the arms as well, also parallel to the floor. If it's possible to straighten the legs, do so. Hands back under the knees, feet back to the earth, come forward towards the top of your mat. Use your core to bring yourself down nice and slowly. Nice and beautiful. And once we're down, not relaxing yet, we'll bring the feet in. And then lift them off the floor, find a happy baby pose. Easing out a little side to side there, encouraging the lower back towards the earth. And either stay there or into your shoulder stand. Lifting legs up and over. Hands support the back. Pull the elbows in towards each other, squeezing shoulder blades together. Heart on the shoulders, walking the hands further up the back and lifting the legs up towards the sky. Just be mindful of your neck here. Make sure it feels okay, otherwise come back down. of energy flow through the body, squeeze the thyroid gland, stimulating the thyroid, and then to come back down, nice and controlled, bring the legs back over the head, then the hands back down to the floor, unless you need to stabilise, you can use the hands to stabilise as we unwind the spine nice and slowly, so you're using your core, laying the spine down one vertebra at a time, like a string of bells, nice and slowly, all the way back down. Let's see now, arms underneath the body, catch a shuffle there. Squeeze the shoulder blades together and then slide forwards a little as you press the elbows into the floor and lift the chest. The head just hangs behind fish pose. That's the answer. The fish with the shoulders roll back, looking through the heart, hanging the head. Heads upside down, and the throat stretches. the hands from underneath, rolling the head a little side to side, any last minute movements and adjustments. Coming into our Shavasana. From here, closing the eyes. Taking slow, deep, full yoga breaths now, breathing nice and deeply into your belly. The way up through the chest, the way to the top of the lungs. Exhale, letting it all go. Nothing to do now, nowhere to be. Just finding a quiet space, relaxing the body.
you just stay here a little longer if you like, otherwise you can really keep the fingers and the toes and the wriggle, stretch the arms up and over the head. And rolling over to your side, the knees bent, lying on the side for a few moments. Together on the out breath, take a deep inhale. 